Hey food fam, let's bake some fish and vegetables. So for um, oven baked fish, we have here, um, my fish is um, sea brink and I have made this tiny, tiny, tiny incisions inside there to help it bake and also make it look pretty when it's baked, okay? And you can use any vegetable um, of your choice. I have here corgi, um, carrots, how do you call this? I forgot. Um, lemongrass, and I have bashed it to release its beautiful aroma. I have onion, chili, hot. I mean, it's not very hot. It's not hot. <laughs> Just some cake to the fish. And then I have here broccoli sprouts. And fish seasoning this is a complete fish spice no salt sugar msg nothing no preservative but it's a complete spice you need for your fish and then you use seasoning of your choice i have here vegetable seasoning or you can even use just salt this is more like it with some vegetables in there so yeah so now you want to go ahead and season your fish <clears throat> so for our oven baked fish, I have here my fish. Um, I'm using sea broom and it's quite big. I don't, I can't even tell, but it's quite big and thick. I have made some tiny incisions in the fish, so it will bake fast and also will look pretty when it's um, cooked. Okay, and you can use um any vegetables of your choice i have here kogi um carrots broccoli sprouting onion some mild chili and lemongrass for some infusions and then i have here my seasoning vegetable seasoning you can use any one you have or want you can even use just salt that'll be fine and then my fish spice this is a complete spice by me and it has everything you need in here okay so with this you don't need to add any other thing to your fish great so now you um, want to go ahead and season your fish with your vegetable seasoning or salt and then your fish spice okay and what i'm going to do is i don't want uh, my vegetables to be too soft like i want it cooked but with a texture if you get what i mean so i'm going to first bake the um, fish for some minutes and then I'll throw in the vegetable to cook as well I hope I'm making sense but if you want your um, or if you like whichever one <laughs> if um, you like your vegetables to be soft you can go ahead and bake the vegetable and the fish together to get the texture that you want but if you don't like it soft like myself you can you would um, bake for a few minutes first and then you later on add your vegetable okay this will be the, um, the side down, so I didn't do the um, incisions there. So yeah, and here we have our fish. And then get your um, baking dish. Let me move my fish. You get your baking dish, yeah? And then line a bit of the carrots. and the broccoli okay just so you place your fish on there not too much okay so there my 
fish is very big as you can see it's very big so it takes some time to um, bake adjust your um, cooking time to your fish and then you want to add in here your lemongrass that's if you want this aroma okay in there raise your hand Okay. And then I'm going to cover now. So this will bake in the oven for 20 minutes or thereabout in 200 degrees. I'm um, 200, yeah, degrees Celsius. I'll write it down, don't worry. So in the oven it goes so now you want to season your vegetables for when you put it into the oven so i'm adding some of the fish spice okay and then my vegetable seasoning and then toss it together so when your fish is ready you just add it and bake yeah so here is the fish well I love how for looks yeah so now I'm going to add the um, remaining vegetables um, this is actually a lot of vegetables but you know by the time it's cooked especially this um, courgette it's going to look very small so I'm going to try and push everything here so here I have added the vegetables I'm going to cover back with the foil and bake it for um, about 30 minutes or so okay so here we have Ooh. smells divine so i want to quickly pop this back in the oven for about 10 minutes now um i wanted to do 30 minutes when i put it back in the oven but it wasn't it was just after 20 minutes and because the oven is on high it's actually cooking a bit faster and also you know that when you have um I want to add some more fish spice to my oil and then base it before I put it back in the um, oven. You also know that when you cover your food, whatever it is, with foil, it takes some time to cook. So if you try the recipe and you do not cover with the foil it will cook faster okay it will cook faster or quicker i should say so here i have a bit of um, vegetable seasoning and my fish spice so for some shine taste i'm doing this It smells so good, trust me. Okay, so I'm putting this back into the oven for just 10 minutes and we will be done. And ta-da! Our fish is ready. It smells so good. Okay, so 
mean there's not much to do from here fish is ready and thank you so much if you have stayed up until now I really do appreciate you please don't forget to like comment share subscribe to my channel it really means so much to me and if you're an old subscriber I want to say thank you so much for staying okay um I hope you enjoy this when you try and like I said if you cover your fish with the foil it will take a longer time to cook plus depending on the size of your fish my fish is quite thick and so adjust the um, cooking time use whatever vegetables you have or you want okay and and also I'll leave everything in the description box below you can purchase this it's available okay and I will see you on my next. Bye.